Hi, my name is Coach Kita Buzzy. I am from the USA. I am a shooting instructor on movement. I am also the author of the book, Smart Move, Econi Economy of Motion for the Shooting Sports. So I am here training these guys in Mombasa, Kenya for IPSC. It is the shooting sport of IPSC. So this is an international sport. So I am teaching these guys how to move around safely and efficiently with a firearm. When you have that firearm in your hand, it has to point in a safe direction at all times. So I'm showing them how to do that and move quickly. Well, this range here is very, very new. Only in the last year and a half has Kenya been shooting IPSC. So they're brand new to the sport, very far behind, but growing very quickly. I think if we can maybe influence some changes so they're able to reload their own ammunition in their homes, the sport will grow because it will be more accessible to more people. This film. I first started getting involved in 2010, started traveling the world, coaching movement for sure. I've been to every continent except Antarctica to teach classes, including Australia, New Zealand, Africa, South Africa, Europe, America, Canada, everywhere. Yes, yeah, so from Kenya, Ibrahim Ndungu is by far your number one shooter. He is the national champion of Kenya. He finished top 10 at the South African Nationals, which is very good. He also went to the World Shoot. That's like our version of the Olympics. It, it was held in Thailand. It's only held every three years. Because of COVID, it was postponed. So it was five years since the last World Shoot. And I think there's a lot of room for growth for Kenya, for sure. They have some catching up to do, but he is definitely leading the way and getting Kenya where it needs to be to be more competitive in the world shoot. Do you think that the government is really convinced into this thing? The government, our government. Your government? Mm. I, I think if they had more education and understanding yeah, no. that this is a sport just like golf, just mm. like football, just like basketball, it's a sport and it's very, very safe. Mm. And these are responsible citizens and very responsible firearms owners. Mm -hmm. These are not criminals. Mm -hmm. These guys just got back from saying their prayers. They're very religious. And this is the safest place to be. <laughs> yes. Well, it's not, it's not an Olympic sport, mm -hmm. but the world shoot is our version of the Olympics. It's similar to the Olympics. It's every three years. But yes, mm -hmm. you had a Kenya team at the world shoot. Hel it was held in Pattaya, yeah. Thailand. Thailand. The shooting ranges are growing. Mm -hmm. I'll be teaching classes in, well, here in Mombasa, Mombasa. there's a range. Mm -hmm. There's one in Chalbi mm -hmm. and in Nairobi. Mm -hmm. So I understand there are a couple additional ones, mm -hmm. but those are the three I'm going to. Going to oh, this is a fantastic range. They have a lot of bays. They could theoretically host international competitions. Mm -hmm. Actually, I believe they are going to host some international competitions that can bring revenue into Kenya bringing in all these tourists to come for the competitions it's very expensive to shoot here I'd love to see it more accessible to more people who want to learn so if if the Kenyans were able to reload their own ammunition you know the the bullet the cartridge is all one piece when you buy it from another country and it's very very expensive but if you buy all the pieces of it and put it together yourself, you save a ton of money and it would be much more accessible to more people. No, not all of them. A lot of them actually are yes. civilians, yes. but yes. this is excellent training. That's a good point. This is excellent training for the military. All of the top military teams in the world in other countries mm -hmm. shoot this sport mm -hmm. because the training provided by the government typically is not enough. Mm -hmm. It's very good practice. Uh, I'm a sports shooter. Na mimi ni member wa club ya Bambudi Life Club. Yes. Uh, ina feel vizuri kukuwa champion lakini kumuka pia kuna kazi ambayo nimeiweka hapo ndio kufikia champion. So haijakuwa champion kwa sababu ya si kuamka nikajipata ni kwa champion kwa sababu nimekuwa niki niki vizuri 
Mekua na walimu wazuri pia ambao wamekua kini isaidia. Mekua na members wetu wa karabu ya bambuli pia wamekua kini, kini isaidia pia kutulea. Jepana ni kaji kafikia mari ni kakasa. Uh, I've been training since 2019. Uh, this will be my fourth year. Yes, I would say that we are now receiving a very good support from the ministry, from the sport ministry, and also from the fire licensing board, and from the government as well. The challenges will be the cost of ammunition. Uh, in Kenya, the cost of ammunition is very high, and that is why we don't have been uh, had so many sport shooters. Because uh, mean, this is not like golf. In a golf, you can train with one ball uh, yes. for even a year. Mm. But in shooting, every bullet is discharged, it will never come back to you. You have to buy mm. yeah, yeah, the cost of ammunition, uh, compa comparing, co comparing to international market, market yes. uh, I think we are three times more expensive mm -hmm. than other sports shooters around the world. Yes, it is a hindrance to even to new shooters who want to begin sports shooting. Mm -hmm. Yes. Bamburi Rifle Club. Uh, we are happy for you to be here and we are happy to have an international coach uh, called Kita Basi from 180 Firearms Training. She's training uh, us today, for, uh, yesterday and today, for a uh, for, uh, module called Smart Move, and it is a very good move. Uh, secondly, the training which we are getting right now is gold standard. Uh, this is the second time this lady is coming out to Africa. She went to South Africa some time back and Kenya has been honored to be uh, her second uh, destination. She's going to hold uh, about six classes within the country and uh, she has got a very rich history in training people on movement. And uh, I can say and I can attest to it that uh, we have uh, been cured of a lot of uh, weaknesses and we are changing those weaknesses into our strong points. Bamburi Rifle Club was founded in 1971 and uh, whereas the majority were uh, uh, old, old uh, sports shooters. When we came in the management in year 2014, we had to embrace sport shooting so that we can grow the sport from civilian uh, fire molders also the disciplined forces. Uh, so far, we've had uh, tremendous growth in terms of, in terms of sport shooting, and uh, we've recently expanded our uh, sport, I mean, uh, our range to international standards. Mm -hmm. This this will allow us to host any international event, big events, mm -hmm. even uh, world shoot. We, we are able to to host it here in Kenya. Uh, what we would request the government to do is to give some uh, exemption in terms of uh, taxes for ammunition to make it more affordable more cheaper for the civilians for shooters mm -hmm. uh, to embrace the sport. Okay. And in terms of uh, the players, maybe when you started at now, from 2014, how has been done? You've been apart, able to nurture new yeah. talents? Well, apart from sport shooting, we also emphasize and enforce on uh, safe firearm handling of uh, weapons for all our members, for all our um, for all the less, licensed fire, firearm holders who walk in to our mm -hmm. club. Yeah, that has been our key key factor in uh, promoting safety and uh, safe use of firearms.